We're here with Brad Sewell on Sports Hub. Brad, how, import, how important is it uh, for the Hawks to get down here for these community camps down here in Tassie? Uh, I think we see the reaction from the kids and the community support we've received, not only this year but in years gone by. It's really important not only for Tassie but I think the footy club as well. Yeah. We certainly enjoy getting down here. Um, what's your feeling on the quality of footballers down here in the island state? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, we've got probably one of the better guys come out, Grant Birchall. Um, yes. He's uh, you know, unlucky not to have been an All-Australian uh, defender last year and obviously a Premiership player as well. So there's certainly plenty of gems down here. And uh, we've seen here today that at the, uh, what they call the combine these days, training combine, there's uh, certainly some talent out here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, mate, just on that then, uh, what would be your view then? I know you guys play down here in Tassie at four games in Launceston. Yeah. We've got North Melbourne now playing over at Bell Reef. What would be your feeling on a Tassie side in the AFL? Yeah, I think um, for Tassie, you know, more footy the better. So if that means, you know, continuing to, to lobby for your own side down here or um, as long as we can ensure we're playing good footy down here and supporting the community. And we've seen the inclusion of the Kangaroos this year as well. It's a total of you know, six sort of AFL games. Um, that's almost as many as what you get with, with your own AFL side. So I think we'll continue to enjoy playing football down here and, uh, and certainly keep supporting the community as much as we can. Excellent. Mate, um, you lost. Uh, you, you, sorry, you won the flag in 2008, then you had a bit of a down year in 2009. How disappointing was that um, from a personal perspective and as a team for, uh, as a team as a whole? Yeah, I, I think almost from a club perspective, it was really disappointing, obviously coming from those the highs that we had in 2008 and then um, and then falling away the way we did in 2009 for a varying number of, of reasons. Um, you know, very disappointing for me, not personally, but more so from a club perspective, I think. Mm. Mate, um, we see all these young blokes out of, uh, from the, or the, in the combine from the Tassie players. You started as a rookie. Um, to, just uh, explain to our, our watchers and listeners out there, how hard is it to come through the ranks as a rookie? Uh, especially, you've done it tough. Yeah. So, um, how hard is it? Just give them a bit of an idea. Yeah, uh, to be honest, it's not that different from any first... Um, first year place has been drafted, um, but I guess as a rookie you're sort of living uh, living a little bit tighter, if you like, um, financially. But uh, you don't have the security of that second year contract. You know, the rookies at the moment um, aren't afford that luxury. So I think you appreciate things a lot more, having to work a bit harder for it as well, and um, uh, you know, making sure that you're doing everything you possibly can to to, to make a career out of it. Yep, excellent. Um, uh, do you, yeah, now, do you see? Do you see yourself as a tagger? Um, and how do you reckon you're going in that role? Do, do you think that there's any other roles you could probably do for the Hawks, uh, maybe this year in 2012? Yeah, I, I, look, whatever the side needs. If that means uh, you know, I started playing down back and then a tag and then winning a little bit uh, a little bit more of my own ball, if you like, as a midfielder. So depending on the structure of the side and um, and what's needed and what's required, I think uh, any of the guys are prepared to do, to do whatever. Yeah, mate, now, last year, um, your form, well, uh, some journos said your form was dropping off um, and it probably it led to you being dropped from the side, but you came back in because of an injury. Um, and since that day, you absolutely dominated, didn't you? Uh, so uh, how, what was going through your mind when that was happening? Did you have any doubts at all? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, that was, um, that was a couple of years ago now, but when, uh, when that all happened, it was, um, you know, I got, f- got a fair old fright, that's for sure. It wasn't, uh, wasn't so much expecting. It may have been floating a little bit or getting a little bit comfortable, but... Um, yeah. Uh, I think at some stage everybody needs a little bit of a wake-up call, and that was certainly mine. And um, you know, it uh, sort of hits you like a ton of bricks, that's for sure. Uh, now, mate, the age, uh, the old adage, uh, or oh, sorry, the old chestnut that we always ask people before in pre-season: who is burning up the track this season for the Hawks in pre-season? Uh, look, there's plenty of guys. Our young guys have really stepped up. Um, Tommy Schneider has been particularly impressive, and a couple of our, our young guys, our new draft these have come into the side as well. Uh, are really good runners, but uh, now that the sort of pre-season's coming to a close, we start to see the the footballers really come out and uh, and find the ball, and that's certainly been the case. Mitch Hallahan's probably another one who's been um, been a standout once the balls have really come out as well. Mm. Brad Sewell, thanks for coming down to uh, Tasmania, and uh, thanks for doing this interview for Sports Hub. Pleasure, no worries. Good on you.